Welcome to the EHR Before You Begin a Reporting Period webinar. This webinar will demonstrate the process of preparing for a reporting period. The intended audience is administrators who are getting ready to start an EHR reporting period. Only one to two people in each office need to know how to do these tasks. We suggest that the EHR provider is one of those people. The information presented in this webinar is available on our website on the page Before You Begin a Reporting Period. It's important to note that someone on your staff needs to take the lead and own your EHR process. We can explain how to enter EHR data and produce reports, but if you need advanced help from Open Dental, our EHR consulting fee is $100 per hour. Before a meaningful use, or MU, reporting period, we recommend a minimum of one to two months of preparation to set up EHR options, learn the objectives, and practice entering patient data. As you progress, reporting period links may increase and requirements may change. This means that you will need to identify future needs and requirements quickly, often while completing a reporting period. The first step of the process is to enter into a written EHR contract with Open Dental. The purchase form is available to download from our website and looks like this. You want to enter at the bottom here the exact first and last name of each provider who will be applying for an incentive payment. The names much must be entered exactly as they'll be entered into Open Dental under lists and providers. For two word first or last names, use a dash. Names cannot have spaces, suffixes, or special characters. You want to indicate the year in the EHR program that it'll be for the provider given, and that that year is for the participation year listed on the contract. So for our John example here, he's going to be doing his third year of meaningful use in 2016. Once you've completed the form, you can return to it, it to us by fax or email, and our fax number and email is listed on the top of the form. We'll then create and send you a contract and invoice. Once all signatures are complete, we'll send you your EHR provider keys. Next, you want to update to the most current certified version of Open Dental. This will be the version listed on your contract. So within the Open Dental interface, on the main menu here, you click Help and Update. If you're not on the version listed on your contract, click Check for Updates, the button here. You want to update from the server first. Once the server is updated, it will trigger an update on the workstations when Open Dental is opened. Updating is a quick process, but it's best to do it when the workstations are not in use. Otherwise, users will be kicked out when the server is updated. Most offices do it at the end of the day or on lunch, and it usually takes about 15 minutes. It's important to understand the meaningful use requirements. You want to review the EHR objectives listed on our website at www.opendental.com. You can also get there if you're in Open Dental by going to Help and Index, and that'll take you directly to our search page. We also recommend that you speak, speak to your state Medicaid office because requirements may vary state by state. You should, at the minimum, know the requirements and object, for each, each objective, review the CQMs, or clinical quality measures, identify additional supporting documentation that may be required. To ensure that your practice is HIPAA compliant, you must first conduct a security risk analysis. The security risk analysis will identify security policies and procedures that your office already has in place and any risks that need to be addressed. Your analysis must be documented and the review will need to occur prior to or during your reporting period. We recommend purchasing a HIPAA compliance kit from the ADA or from some other company and they generally run about $300. These kits have sample security risk analysis reports for small dentist offices that most offices find helpful. Another useful resource is the security risk assessment tool provided by healthit.gov. Some features of Open Dental must be set up prior to a reporting period. If items are not set up correctly, EHR measure reporting and CQMs will be affected. You'll need to do the EHR setup process. There's detailed information on our website, but this process is also covered in the EHR setup webinar if you'd like to follow along with that. For more resources or documentation for what was covered in this webinar, visit our website at www.opendental.com.